came in and was like, yeah, I'm gonna have a free breakfast today. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to the Peaches channel on the internet. Happy holidays, I hope you're excited because I am smash that like button if you are. Today we are gonna be looking at the dumbest people of Target. Before we begin, make sure you comment something down below and obviously subscribe to Peach Be a Peach. Now, we'll get on with the video. What is this? Decisions were made here. Okay, somebody put an onion where the Sonic the Hedgehog movie was supposed to be. Wasn't that like supposed to be a piece of sh Didn't, didn't people like bully the Sonic the Hedgehog animators so that they had to reanimate and redo the whole thing? Yeah, that sounds about right. And instead they put Jumanji there and an onion and took away the coffees. Nice, nice. We're a bunch of bullies. So somebody made a meme for their target experience. Okay. Guess, you had wipes yesterday and now you're out. Yes, sorry, they're very popular right now. Guess, well you should order more. My goodness, what an idea. Why didn't I, why didn't I think of that? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna call them and be like, hey, we need more wipes, and then they fly them in and you have there within five minutes. That's not how it works there. Karen, I bet it was a Karen that was complaining. Also wipes, are we talking about facial wipes? Are we talking about downstairs wipes? Cause maybe it's an emergency and they're like, I took a big one, I need to clean my derriere. <laughs> Where's those wipes? You know, now I, then I understand the sense of urgency. This customer walked in 10 seconds before we closed and she had the audacity to yell, yay, I made it. And she made what? Made me mad? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's really good, actually. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a good thing that I don't work at like Target or Walmart or Costco or any kind of store because that would piss me off. Like, it's nine o'clock and, oh no, it's 8.59. Literally 10 seconds left before it hits nine o'clock. You just wanna clean up and then clock out and this girl's just like, yeah, yeah, I can finish shopping. No, you have 10 seconds to shop. That's it. We're timing you, you're out by nine. The Target team member who's worked at the store for a year told Business Insider that they once came upon someone in heels and an inflatable dino costume while working a shift. Was there a dino convention in town? Was it Fan Expo? Choices were made here. They not only were like, I'm going to go to Target in a dino costume, they're like, I'm going to go to Target in a dino costume and high heels. You gotta add the high heels. Maybe they just want it to be a sassy dino for the day. No shame. Um, that like adds a little excitement to your day. You go home, you're just like, hey, guess what, husband? I saw a dinosaur today in high heels. And they're like, no way. Okay, a Target employee shared an unusual anecdote with Cosmopolitan about an encounter with some snow eating teenage girls. First off, what does that even mean? Snow eating teenage girls. Okay, let's read on. They grabbed some beanbag chairs and sat in the middle of the aisle and started eating snow that they brought in from outside. These are teenage girls, wow. The employee told Cosmopolitan, okay, they asked people who walked past where they could buy more snow and ice. They weren't bothering anyone, so we just let them stay there. That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Also, where you can get more snow and ice? Outside, where you got the snow in the first place. I, I just wanna know their thought process. Like, they're like, hey, let's go to Target and just chill in their beanbag chairs. But also, if we get a little thirsty, we'll grab some snow from outside and we'll just munch on that. I'm not gonna lie, snow, it tastes really good. I don't know why, it's, woo! But also, filled with toxins nowadays, you know? Customers will occasionally try and get away with pretty eg egregious, outstandingly bad, and shocking. Oh, so why didn't they just say get away with pretty bad and even fraudulent returns? No one needs egregious. Anyway, uh, I did have someone try to return a non-target item and kept insisting she bought it here. 
Target, oh yeah, okay. Another crew member of a year told Business Insider that they once witnessed, oh, hello, I can't see, okay. Another crew member of a, year, of a year told Business Insider that they once witnessed a shopper attempt to return a Walmart shirt. See, I thought we were gonna be talking about them buying like a video game or like a PS5 and instead, they like fill the box with rocks so it's heavy. They're like, yeah, I'm gonna return this. But it, then if they don't open it up because it looks sealed, it's just rocks on the inside and they kept the PS5. That's what I thought. Former Target team member John Keenan wrote on Quora that he once witnessed a man ripping off his clothes in the middle of the store in order to try on various Philadelphia sports team clothes. Keenan said that he told the man that the store had a fitting room, but the shopper responded, no, I have a flight to catch in 10 minutes and I need shirts for my bros. At that point, I was kind of speechless. For anyone interested, the airport was about 40 minutes away from Target. Yeah, dude, you're missing your flight. You gotta, you, your flight's in 10 minutes, but it's 40 minutes away, dude, math. Um, also, it's really funny how like, he's like in the middle of the store, just whipping off his shirt, trying on these clothes. He's like, dude, I forgot to bring a souvenir for my bros. I need to get it. Everyone knows that in-store scuffles sometimes erupt on Black Friday. Oh, we know that. Check out my Black Friday videos. That's something. As shoppers tear through retail outlets searching for the best deals. But former Target team member Alan Coe wrote on Quora that he saw a much more unusual fight on his shift. Namely, two naked people fighting over alcohol. Well, if alcohol is involved, then you know why they were naked. They walked in properly dressed, oh, but got angry with each other because they couldn't agree on what alcohol to buy. They stripped nude first before wrestling each other. So I'm picturing two bros, they walk in, they're like, bro, we need to get this one. The other guy's like, no, we need to get this wine. It tastes bitter. You know what? You know how we're gonna settle it? Sumo style wrestling. They just whip it off, they go at it in the middle of the floor probably crack open some wine, pour it on themselves, or they get some oil, oil themselves up, and they start wrestling each other. It's probably what happened. Uh, that's a sight to see for sure. Also, I did not know that Target sold alcohol. I did not know that. Bro came in and was like, yeah, I'm gonna have a free breakfast today at Target. Uh, I agree. The worst part is that they use chocolate milk in their cereal instead of normal milk. Ew. Uh, actually, that might be kind of good because it looks like it was the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Churros with chocolate milk. That might actually taste good. No, don't knock it until you try it. This dude, and it looks like he had multiple bowls. Like, it looks like he had Nesquik or whatever that cereal is over there. Like, he had... He opened up two boxes of cereal, had two bowls, also made a mess. And in our number one spot today, let's see what we got. Accident ha blah, blah, blah. Accidents happen, and sometimes those accidents happen in Target. A total of eight Target employees told Business Insider that they've seen guests or customers' dogs defecate, aka poop, urinate, aka pee, or vomit, aka throw up. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> in the store. That's disgusting. Once someone, oh lord, I don't even want to keep reading this, I need to bleach my eyes. Once someone smeared poop all over the wall, leading to and from the restrooms? Ew! Does that mean he, they, in the toilet, they just picked it up and they're like, woo! Uh. Another Target team member told Business Insider that a customer once brought her six, in the, Another Target team member told Business Insider that a customer once brought her sick daughter on a shopping trip only for the girl to vomit all over the store. Ew, I have to eat my breakfast after this. Half of the staff were called out the next day. The, they caught the flu from contaminated vomit. Dude, can you imagine that? You're cleaning up someone else's vomit and you literally get the flu from that? 
Oh no! Oh, oh hell no! Uh oh, that is gross. All right guys, that's all for today's video. If you wanna see part two, then let me know in the comments below. Also, smash that like button for me because uh, it really helps me out and I appreciate it. Also, subscribe to Peach, be a peach. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, AKA Peach. Stick around for some loopers. See ya when I see ya. Bye. Oh, stay peachy. And in our number one, the number blah blah. No way, look at, fuck that. Something over there just made a noise. <laughs> How the f do you pronounce that? I've never heard of that. Egregious. Hold up, hold up. Egregious. Egregious. It's jis. Egregious. Number five. Oh my god, look at the cute little doggy. The little target doggy.